AP3, which is, stands for the Effective Practices for Physics Programs, is a guide that has been intended for physics department chairs to help them improve their programs and to think a little bit about how they can develop uh, great practices within their undergraduate physics programs. The, the guide is it's currently under development. We've released about a third of the section so far. These are developed by literally hundreds of people from the community who have um, worked on various things like communication skills, laboratory skills, uh, introductory course, recruitment, retention, et cetera. They contribute stuff and then we have a national task force which digests all of that stuff, aggregates it, puts other great knowledge, brings in research and practice together and and uh, digest that down to a very uh, small readable section that can be understood by any physics department chair. The toolkit is related to EP3 in many ways because the contents of what we're trying to tell people are contained within EP3. But APS as an organization has been asked numerous times by departments who are under threat to say, well, what can I do? APS tasked Courtney Lannard at Smith College, UMass Amherst, and myself at Juniata College to come up quickly with a toolkit that would help uh, departments that are under some sort of threat. So in doing so, we uh, sourced the information in the toolkit from interviews with over 50 deans, chairs, and faculty members, and came up with a uh, best practices for techniques and um, actions that might be effective in helping given different types of threats. So two uh, kind of quick examples would be looking for win-win situations with a dean instead of coming um, into any um, discussion from an antagonistic or defensive point of view, looking to solve problems that the dean might have by that would also help out your department. And also uh, in a broader sense to kind of rethink the traditional role of physics departments as producing only PhD physicists and look at how you might help the broader constituency of um, people who are graduating with a bachelor's degree and going into industry. So some of the, those are some of the big takeaways, but there's a lot more in there that can really help uh, individual programs make their case. I'd encourage faculty or chairs to go and just browse the guide and find things. We've heard, for example, from new faculty that they wanted to browse sections of it to see what departments are actually up against so that they can better prepare themselves for their new positions.